Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. In this video I'm going to show you that the independent samples t-test can be run as a regression with a dummy variable. So here's a simple example. I've got the I've got two columns, the, a score which may be from an experiment. An experiment is carried under two conditions. So I've coded them 0 and 1. Okay, so one could be a control group and the other one could be just uh, exactly the same as the control group except for with one adjust with um, some adjustment. I want to see whether that adjustment changes the scores, the mean scores. So this is something you might use in a wide variety of applications, whether it's in um, health science, whether it's in psychology, whether it's in marketing. It's got wide use this test. So for that reason, uh, the audience watching this video, you'll be coming from various subject degrees, psychology, marketing, um, statistics, biostatistics, so on. Okay, uh, we run first the standard t-test, independent samples t-test, and this is more like a revision. I'm not going to go through this real slow. Okay, put the test into the test, the so, sorry, the score, the measurements into the, the test variable box and then the grouping variable is by group here, then we'll press OK. Then we see the output. Now, two boxes, group statistics. So, so for Group 0, 6 observations, group 1, 6 observations, the mean for group 0 is 45, has a score of, with a mean of 45, and the group 1 has a mean score which is higher, look. It's higher by about 21, isn't it? Alright. Which suggests there is difference, but we can't just tell from this that it's the difference, because this, this is sample data, and what we want to do is we want to infer from this whether there's a difference in the population. Now the test statistic will take account also of the variation, the standard deviation of the measurements. Okay, now here is the test. Made up of two parts. First, we want to test for the quality of variance. The null is that the variance is two groups are the same. Do we reject it? Well, here's the p-value denoted by sig. This is SPSS talk speak. 0.929 bigger than 0 0.05 so do not reject the null if we're using the 0 0.05 rule which tends to be standard. That means I can claim that there is equal variances assumed so we read off the top row. If we didn't, if we reject the null we would read the results for the t down the bottom row. All right, so we're reading along the top row if you're reporting the statistics in your report that's the value report, that's actual t statistic but the thing we're actually interested in is not that, but this. Okay, the significance level is 0 0.006. Less than 0 0.05, so we reject the null and conclude that there is a difference in the means. Now, since there is a difference in the means, we can see here, we can say that there's more than a difference since the group 1 is bigger than group 2, you can say that group 1 has higher mean than group 2. Okay, well that's the standard uh, independent samples t-test. Now let's run it as a regression because this is uh, the new bit. This is the bit I want to show you really. Now, basically what we do is we run it with a dependent variable which is the measurements, the score. And the independent variable now we put in the group. The group being, if we go back to the data, here. Okay. Now this group is really a dummy variable. All right. So in this case, a dummy variable is a variable that takes the va binary value. It takes values zeros or ones for each of these cases. So these numbers actually mean something now. It's not like when we do, when we look at nominal and ordinal data where we can put any old number, you know, where we could put, 
one where the numbers don't really mean mean and mean too much. Um, for dummy variables, group that is code zero is the reference category, and the group that is coded one is what we call the, it is the um, it's the other category. All right. So with dummy variables, dummy variables are coded zero or one. Zero if you're not in that group, and one if you're in that group. So it could be at one here denotes experimental group, zero denotes the non-experimental group. So to run it, we go analyze as a regression, the new regression, and so that's what we do. We regress the measurements, the score on the intercept and the, and the dummy. Okay. Right, and now let's look at the coefficients box. Group 21.667. The coefficient on the constant is 45.467. Let's compare these uh, numbers. See if we can see these numbers when we run the T stat. Uh, the T, T stat thing. Okay, well, look in the group statistics. Look, we got 45.1667. We definitely saw that number. That number is was is in the regression is the intercept coefficient, isn't it? And the 21 thing. Look at that. The mean difference is minus 21. So it's got something to do with this. It's looking at the difference in means. What well, this intercept, this slope. Sorry, what this slope coefficient tells us is how different the group that is coded one is relative to the group that is coded zero. So it's telling us that the group mean here, coded one, is higher than the mean for the group coded zero by 21.667. So if you add these two numbers to two together, that will give you the mean for the group that is coded one, which came in about 66, didn't it? Look, 45 plus 21 is about 60, slightly over 66. If we look at the mean here for group 1, indeed it's 60, oh, 66, 68.8. Next, the T stat look we said here is significant. The significant, we reject the null that there's no difference in means. And the p value for that test was 0 0.006. Let's look down here. Okay, T stat 3.452 p value 0 0.006 is not a kind of a coincidence there 0 0.006 0 0.006 more than that look the t stat here 3.452 what's the t stat in the minus 3.452 but if we look at ignore the minus they're the same numbers all right so in other words i've just look, looked here that basically the regression where you run the measurements as a DV on a dummy for the group is the same, you get the same result as if you're running an independent samples t-test. Alright, just uh, kind of seeing this just gives you kind of, um, it just gives you a different angle on the t-test. Indeed if you're doing more theoretical stats that give you a bit more insight as well as to how what is going on in these tests and what's how what the regression is doing. Okay, well uh, that I'm kind of um, for some of you that will just be uh, an interesting fact. For some others of you that will be interesting because you're doing theoretical statistics. Okay, all for now.